Hello everybody, welcome back to Soma. Um, things are getting interesting. We're in the Tau station, um, and we are finding some parts so that we can transfer our consciousness into another dead body in a robotic suit. Because that's apparently what we are. We're a dead body in a robotic suit. Um, and um, as we've been exploring the Tau station, we've been having some very unsettling moments. Uh, there's something that told us that we need to stop. We weren't sure exactly what that voice was. Something actually like seemed to want us to come into the facility. It gave us the codes to unlock the door, which is never a good sign. Um, and I'm thinking it might be the wow. Anyways, we uncovered this bit about the structure gel here. Um, this structure gel seems to be what all this glowing thing is. It's kind of like a robotic gel that, um, it's kind of like a robotic gel that makes machines function. In any case, the WoW uses structure gel to make really messed up things. So we need to get some to transfer ourselves. And when we tried to open this container to get some structure gel, it says error control chip malfunction service required. Okay. So it looks like we need to put a new chip in and I bet you I bet you hmm. Do we just need to replace it with this chip? No. Okay. Maybe we need to pour some structure gel onto it. Okay. Too far. This is ridiculous. Come on. Why is this so hard? There we go. Let's dispense some structure gel. Yuck. Did we repair it? Did it work? Let's find out. It looks like this, the chip should be broken, but I bet you now, instead of being broken, it's actually gonna say it's working. Okay. Let's open the case. And let's pick up some uncalibrated structure gel. So the issue is the WoW is using kind of corrupted structure gel. Um, and we want the uncorrupted stuff. So that's what we just got here. Um, so mission success. Back into the clean room. Okay, they're gonna bathe us in an air bath. It looks like a radiation bath too, to kill off any any unwanted bacteria and whatnot. Okay, so we have one of the three things we need. What? Can we go back? Can we go back? I want to unsee that. Who is Robert? What's important? Oh my gosh. I don't like that. I think Robert's the guy who let us in here. I don't know why he's seeing... He's appearing to us like a apparition, like a ghost. That's not something you really want to get comfortable with. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, Julia. What's going on? I'm not that transparent. What do you want, Molly? We're friends, right? Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Oh, 
what makes you... What, why would you ask that? Uh, I think Ross is trying to tell me something. About Psy Alpha. He wants me to go down to the abyss and find it. Crazy, right? You've been down there. I just thought you could talk some sense into me. Ronnie, I'm not at liberty to... I can't talk about that. Interesting. There's another station, Station Alpha, that may or may not be real. What's going on at Alpha? Why is it a secret? Cold storage. <laughs> they have a bunch of cod in here. That's not cod. Oh, you know, it was mentioned that, um, it was mentioned that the WoW has been corrupting living things by, like, shooting structure gel onto dead things, which kind of reanimates them. For example, they, they had experimented with shooting structure gel onto a dead rat, and it kind of reanimated it for a bit, but then the rat went crazy. So maybe the, the WoW, which is trying to preserve life, thinks that it's helping to preserve life by reanimating things with structure gel and it counts this as fulfilling its mission instead of as failing. Speaking of rats, Jesus Christ, can I not be in here please? This is, this is the scene of the crime, reanimating dead things with robotic gel. So, problem is, is I've forgotten what the three things that we were supposed to get were. Obviously we've got one of them, we've got the structure gel. But what the other two are, I've already forgotten. Good thing is though, is I kind of have a sense of where we are and where we haven't been yet. I just saw him again. I want to get out of here. Like I was saying, I kind of have a good sense of where we are and where we've been. And so I know where, um, where we can look where we haven't been yet. So here is the main entrance. Honestly, I'm just going to leave any doors open where we've already been to a place. So I know that... I have been there. Okay. Before we go upstairs, let's stay downstairs, okay? Let's do everything on the same floor before we move to a different floor. Hydroponics. All right. Here's where they were growing some food. Disgusting. Is there anything useful for us in here? Nope, don't know what the point of coming in here was. Hydroponics, got it. Okay, and this is where we originally came from, down here. So I think we've done everything on the middle floor. We could potentially look on the bottom floor, but I don't wanna do that right now, cause that looks scary. So I'm gonna go and go do the upstairs bit. So if we go over here, I'm going to stop running now because I don't know if danger awaits us ahead. So we're going to sneak upstairs to South Hall Floor 2. Coast looks clear. Okay, we have options. We can go to containment or the main entrance. Why don't we go into containment? That sounds like it's a fun time. Something worth being contained. All right, so we're in the upper floor. We're in containment. 
what? Oh, I forgot. Every time we look at this thing, uh, it just flips out. Okay. So we just came in from this hall right here. I think if we go behind, we came up for this stairway. If we go behind us, we can get to the main entrance that was blocked off, right? This was broken. That's why we had to go in the back entrance. Um, there is a mess hall. Apparently. And there is a quarantine zone right here in BT7. I don't want to go to the quarantine zone, so I'm going to explore that last. Let's check out the mess hall, and then we're going to check out this hallway first. And then we'll go into the quarantine zone if we need. Never mind, that's locked. And that's locked as well. Is there anything we can do here? Override? Removing the lockdown? I don't know if we should have done that. But regardless of if we should have, we did. Alright. I have a feeling this place is locked down for a reason. Into the dining hall we go. Okay, why is everyone headless? What is with the heads? Why is everyone headless? I'm guessing this guy just has static for us. Of course. Nothing useful. What's on his computer? Can we read the computer? Oh my gosh, we're just like leaning over his dead body. Undelivered report. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames, Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. Okay, I'm going to listen to that one more time. I feel like that was important. The ARC team went missing, and a body came back up. Something to do with Alpha. I want to listen to it again. Johan Ross was found dead on the Johan this Ross. Morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. Okay, so Johan Ross is from Station Alpha. We don't know what's going on at Alpha, but it's obviously something, right? They were talking about it. And showed up dead on the climber as it came back up without the ARC team. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Okay, so the WoW acting up seems to be somehow coinciding with this guy's death for some reason. Maybe they were both caused by it for the same reason? Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. It's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Wow. <laughs> no pun intended. 
Okay, so the WoW seems to be trying to free Johan Ross's body for some reason. Somebody went down to look for Alpha. I guess that's where Johan Ross came from, from Alpha, to try to figure out what happened. That's the, that must be the audio message we saw earlier. Okay, so I think this is everything we're gonna get from the cafeteria. Just one dead body in their computer. Okay. Truly enlightening. Let's go into the power room. This place has been like permanently quarantined. It looks like the wow has something to do with it. There's the power room and here's storage. Maybe we can find something useful in storage. Last time we were in the storage room, we said the same thing and then found nothing useful. Because why would anyone store something useful in storage? Okay, storage, useless. Power room. Uh oh, the game auto saves. Maintenance tunnels? I don't want to crawl around in any more maintenance tunnels. I'm glad that this is red. I hope we don't have to go in there. Okay. So what's going on here? Oh my gosh. Looks like the WoW is like... Currently... Reanimating this body or trying to keep it alive or something. That's so disturbing. What is that noise? Are you serious? I see a thing up there. Is that a monster? Or something we need to check out? That's a monster, for sure. Or is that, is that the guy who keeps talking to us? I think there's only one way to find out. You know what? No. No way in hell I'm going over that way. Not in a million years. I'm going around. I wish I knew what I was looking for. It'd make my job a lot easier. Is this like Johan Ross or something? Okay, this thing is clearly dangerous. Throwing something at it didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Okay, run. Run away. Oh no. I just cornered myself. What's the deal with that thing? It just stands there and then if you get too close it chases you. But it doesn't seem to be triggered by like... Throwing stuff at it. It doesn't seem to be triggered by light. Like it doesn't see us. It doesn't seem to be triggered by sound. I'm guessing since this thing is here, we obviously need to find something in this room. But I don't know what that thing that we need to get from here is. Okay. I'm gonna come back here when I know what it is I need. Until that moment, I am getting the hell out of here. 
Can you... Where's the way out? Where's the way out? Jesus Christ. Am I locked in here? I don't remember the way out. Is it back this way? Okay, I think it's this way. Okay. No, it's not this way. Oh, it is this way. Okay. I'm never coming back here again. Jesus Christ, what was that? Get me away. I'm done. The last place to check out is the main entrance. What was that thing? That... It's gotta be just like a dead body that's reanimated by the WoW. Okay, so obviously touching all these bodies is not- we're not getting anything from them. They must not be- have, have been carrying that black box. I think that's what Catherine said. We're like taking memories from a black box that people carried with them that like monitored their mind and their vitals and whatnot. So here's the main entrance. Obviously it's broken so we can't get in or out that way. That's fine. Get the hell out of here. We're going downstairs. I swear our time at Tau no, we're not even at Tau. This is Omicron. Our time at Omicron, I bet you, is gonna end with that thing chasing us. And I'm not looking forward to it. I think by far that is the scariest monster we have come across to date. I don't like that it just stands there. Okay, so downstairs. This is the last place to check. Let's override the lockdown on lower facility. Okay, so let's see where we have to explore here. Not sure. We're here. I think we just came from the stairwell. And here is the entrance to outside. So we gotta find the stairwell and the entrance to outside. So here's the stairwell. Is that? Oh, here's the airlock. That must have been the dressing room. So we just overrode the locks. So that place is kind of blocked off. We can't get in there, but we can get into the workshop to our left and the communications room to our left. Oh my gosh. Disgusting. I don't even know what we're looking for. If we can't find anything that we're looking for down here, we're gonna have to go back upstairs and talk to Kat. And hopefully she can remind us. We need a heal too. I know there are heals like dotted around the place, all over the place. It shouldn't be hard. There are plenty of heals available in this, in this building. Okay. Looks like they're working on robots here. Is any of this useful for us? Force is equal to mass times velocity? No, force is equal to mass times acceleration. I took my physics class. That's wrong. Okay, nothing for us in here. Down the hall we go. Towards the other dead body. So look what it did to this dead body. They put a bunch of like robotics in it to try to keep it alive. This is the WoW's twisted way of protecting humanity. All right, let's heal. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Let's go. So 
Is that punishing us for healing? Really? By turning off all the lights? Why is my vision going staticky? Is there something out here? No. It's just being mean to me. It's just trying to freak me out for no good reason. Okay, we have to look at all this stuff. Alpha? Into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. What? End Tau. Find Alpha. Take the gel to Alpha. What? Sick. The heart of at at foes at four. I don't know what that's a reference to. Take the gel to Alpha. Interesting. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. Somebody took gel to Alpha. Something suspicious happened at Alpha. Let's see what happens. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Well, okay then. Stay safe. Is this her? All this crazy writing? So this is the arc team going down. Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright. Heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Okay. So everything was fine when they left when they left Omicron. Tau, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Uh oh. Lumar relay out of range. So they sent them down and then they couldn't. They couldn't contact Tau anymore. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. So no contacting Tower 5 from here. Okay. So. We have succeeded in getting some structure gel today. The other two things that we need, I'm not sure. Let's go back up to Catherine and see what she says. I don't remember this being here. Okay. Containment. This is the airlock. Containment is straight, the stairs are left. Let's go back to Catherine and she was, see what she has to say. I have a bad feeling that we're gonna have to go back and tango with that thing on the upper floor. I really don't wanna do that. Okay, at least that guy's not bothering us this time. Let's go into the dive room. Catherine? Where are you at? Hi, Catherine. Okay. I'm sure you can steal the Cortex chip from the robot you found downstairs. Try rejecting it with the diagnostics computer. Steal the Cortex chip from the robot I found downstairs. Try rejecting it with the diagnostics Use the computer. Use the computer downstairs next to the robot to reject the Cortex chip. Thanks for the hint, Catherine. 
Okay. Did she say downstairs? Use the computer downstairs next to the robot to reject the Cortex chip. Downstairs? There was a robot downstairs? I thought the robot was upstairs. Maybe that's not a robot. Maybe that's like something different. Okay, so we're going back downstairs. No, not there. Okay, leave us alone. Stairwell. Downstairs. Computer. Reject the Cortex chip. I'm so grateful to have Catherine telling us what to do because I am, quite frankly, lost. This computer. Nope. There wasn't anything here downstairs. Is this the chip? There's a robot downstairs. What robot? This robot? This robot. Cortex chip diagnostics. What is this? I don't get it. I don't get it. A little guidance would be helpful. Okay, so we need to somehow like reflect this light. So if we want to eject the cortex chip, we need to deflect this light down here. Okay, we're turning on the motor. Okay. Optics. Okay. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. So we can take this one down here, we can take this one down here, and we can take this one. Down here. Cortex assembly removed. No signal from host. Okay, we got the chip. Huh. Easy peasy. All right, Catherine, it's a fish. Poison the well? What? What? Catherine, we did it. I'm coming back. Please don't tell me to go back upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs. Here we are, Catherine. This is such a long journey back. Hi. We need to find a power pack to keep your new body going. Oh, it's in the power room upstairs. I knew it. A power pack. Okay. Back into that hell zone we go. Note to self, don't get too close to that 
zombie, it will kill you. But keep a safe distance and it's probably fine. This must be where they were keeping the dead body. Johan Ross. Okay, upstairs we go. Guys. I don't want to do this. By far the scariest part of the game. I have the stupid idea to record this at night too. Power room. Okay. We need to find a power pack. I don't know what that is or what it looks like, and I thought we explored the power room pretty thoroughly before. But apparently not thoroughly enough. I bet you it's going to be close to that thing. Okay. Power pack storage. It can't be this easy, can it? Emergency pals, S3. Okay, they look like this. High performance rechargeable lithium sulfur pack, standard S3 connection. Okay, we know what we're looking for at least, but why aren't they in here? Power pack? Where are you? Not back here. It's gonna be towards the monster, because why would it be anything but? Oh, what are those awful noises? I'm just gonna pick. Clear the trash out of my way. Okay, here's the deal. Do you see that behind it? That's gotta be the power pack storage. How did we get there? Is it sensitive to sound? Not sensitive to sound. What am I supposed to do? What? That startled me. Where did that come from? I don't want to get close to it. Okay. There it is. Can I sneak up behind it? I think I'd rather go behind it rather than in front of it. It seems pretty out of it. Like it can't see us. No! So I don't get it. It's going to charge us if we get too close. Unless we charge it.
and we run in the right way away from it. What's weird is it doesn't move around. It doesn't pace. Like this, like we can't just wait for it to leave the box alone. It just stands still. Okay, this episode is running a little long, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end the episode here, and we're gonna start next time by figuring out how to deal with that thing. Oh my gosh. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.